When we filmed Top of the Pots with Marky e. Smith, he brought a friend called Brian with him. Brian seemed innocuous enough, and Mark claimed that he was his hairdresser, although darker voices in our entourage whispered he was a black belt and judo not to be messed with. Mark thought nothing of trying at every possible turn to get us to have our hair cut by him, an offer we persistently declined. So we filmed I Want You with Marky e. Smith, and it was such a hilarious performance that he was even repeated on their Saturday morning kids show with whatever furry animal themed puppets they had co presenting the clip. Mocking Mark's lyrics handwritten on paper and in short. I like it. That's How Marky e. Smith, not one of the Inspiral carpets. Oh, it's Marky e. Smith from the fall. Later in the day, when Inspirals and Mark were in the makeup department, waiting to do our final run through, Elvis Costello and his band were in the green room just yards from us, and they were watching their run through. As the song ended, the overzealous American drummer ran up to the floor manager and begged for them to reshoot their take. Mark, ever the diplomat, pulled himself up square to the American and said in pure Salford, There's no point doing it again. It was shit when you did it the first time. It'll be just as shit if you do it again. The prospect of two of the more senior men of the punk new wave movement scrapping was almost too enjoyable, but the moment passed and it didn't happen. However, during one of the run-throughs, Clint and Mark had an altercation and punched each other. While we were waiting for our final run-through, Mark started getting all the rubbish in the dressing room together, all the paper plates, polystyrene cups, bits of food, plastic bottles, put everything on a tray, got one of the band to open up the door, and then he threw it out without looking. Unfortunately, at the same time, Anita Doth, the female singer from Two Unlimited, was walking past the door and it went all over her. Later, Mark cheekily got Martin to ask Anita if she liked him and fancied a date. The final story from this eventful recording of Top of the Pops happened when we had filmed our segment and had got the all clear from the director via the floor manager and gone to the bar in Elstree. In the bar was a ragbag of pop musicians and actors from EastEnders. While we were sitting there, Gillian Tailforth brushed through with her kids. One of the kids unfortunately tripped up over Mark's extended foot. Acting like she owned the place, Gillian turned to Mark and said, Aren't you going to apologise to my kid? Haven't you got any manners? To which Mark looked at his friend, Brian, and said in a stage whisper full of menace, Hey, Brian, why don't you go up to the dressing room and get those cutthroat razors and we can sort this out? <laughs>